brave Yes, they do about things to see and stuff to do What to eat, where to go It really is revealing what the readers know So they make their choices and they vote them into MassLive.com and the Republican Where they publish all the winners and we all find out The kind of things that readers like to rave about and I am the owner of Maureen Sweet Shop in East Longmeadow, Massachusetts. I've been in this store before, but it was 1972 and I was buying Beatles records. Yes, it used to be a music store. How did you get into the sweets business? It's something I'd always wanted to do and I've always played around with it. And uh, one day my husband's like, just open a shop and be happy. And that's what I did. It's really nice in here, but I was hoping to see a chocolate river like Willy Wonka. What kind of reaction do people have when they walk in here? Depends on the age. The older the person, the, oh, it smells wonderful. The younger the person, oh, wow. Or if they're too old, I can't smell anything. Your website says you offer favors. We do. Can you drive me to the airport? Do you do chocolate covered ants? We could if you wanted us to. How about uncles? Do you ever have nightmares about chocolate? All the time. You offer chocolate classes. We do. Are there people that don't know how to eat chocolate? Well, how'd you guess? What's the deal with white chocolate? Does that really deserve to be called chocolate? No. Go to Maureen Sweet Shop. We're the best. Just ask the Republican and Mass Live. Communications manager here at Six Flags New England, the most thrilling company on the planet. When are you going to grow up and get a real job? I'm never going to grow up. I work at a theme park for a living. I worked here when I was 18 years old. Do people still talk about me? <laughs> I, I hope not. In the story of David and Goliath, David defeats Goliath. So why did you name the roller coaster after the loser? Was the Mondale taken? Well, personally, I think it's a Goliath in size and in Mecca when it comes to coaster technology. Are there any clothing requirements for the water park? In our water park. <laughs> this was a good one. You got me. Crazy cars and crazy cups. What do those rides teach kids about spelling? Yes, our crazy cars and crazy cups may have a K in it, but it's well worthy because our crazy rides here at Six Flags are that intense. We just thought, hey, let's throw in an extra letter. I used to like playing the Midway games when I was a kid. Can you still win a carton of cigarettes? <laughs> no. Are we the number one family destination yeah. in New England? Yeah. 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 Come on out. We'll see you soon. And cheer up, will you? Woo! <laughs> Joe Sullivan, one of the managers at Nathan Bill's Bar and Restaurant. Is this an Irish bar? It is an Irish bar. Do you have corned beef? We have corned beef and cabbage every Saturday, and the corned beef Rubens here every day. You know, corned beef is the crossroads of Irish and Jewish. Yeah, I, I'm aware of that. Did you ever have a priest and a rabbi walk in? I have, yeah. Maybe not together, but I've seen them here. Is this a funny bar like Cheers? Uh, it can be. Would that make you Ted Danson? No, I think John Sullivan's Ted Danson. Do you do any dancing? I, uh, I've been known to, to do a little dancing, yeah. Hey, you know any good bar jokes? I don't. I don't know any good bar jokes. All right, here's one you could use. What do you call a guy who's just had six beers? What? A taxi. Ah. Yeah, ah. get that? All right, now, do you have an outside patio? I do have an outside patio. Do you have that famous Irish woman out there? Which one's that? Patio furniture. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, how did you obtain all these local street signs? 
Uh, those were knocked down by the tornado. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, yeah. What's the key to having the most popular neighborhood bar? Uh, it's a lot of hard work, putting a lot of effort in and, and paying attention to details, making sure the customers are happy. Nate Costa, President of Springfield Thunderbirds. Chris Thompson, Senior Vice President of Sales and Strategy. Can you hear me over those socks? <laughs> I don't know. What do you have? What do you have for socks today? Do you two get along? Depends the day of the week. Nate, are you old enough to be a president? Of course. Okay. Why did you name your team after a Ford product? That's a good question. I think uh, first of was all, Fiesta taken? <laughs> what does your phone number spell? 739 Goal. I don't want to break this to you, but do you know that it also spells sex goal? I, had, I didn't know that. Is that true? That, that is true. Yeah. No, it's not. It really is true, yeah. <laughs> we'll have to keep it off the school flyers. <laughs> Tell us about your mascot, the six-foot-tall bird. Yeah, he's a uh, boomer. Boomer's pretty energetic. He's the reason why we have 6,000 fans every night. Do people ever slip and say Falcons? You know, uh, probably once a week. We actually have a swear jar in the office for the F word. Do hockey players in real life have teeth? Uh, yeah, a lot of them do. What would you like to say to all the people who voted for you? Thank you very much for the, all the faith that you have in me as being the president of Springfield. Because that's really what the vote was for. It really was. Yeah. Yeah. Kimberly Lee, the Vice President of Development for CHD, the Center for Human Development. In 10 seconds or less, what does CHD do? CHD impacts the lives of more than 20,000 individuals every year. We are the largest nonprofit in Western Massachusetts. You're a nonprofit? We are. Whose fault is that? Do you do anything funny? Personally? Okay, sure. Um, where does the snowman keep its money? I don't know. In a snowbank. <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously, do you do anything funny? Do you enjoy your work? I love my job. Even right now? Right now. You also won the award for best place to work, but I don't see any trampolines or pastry. No, we keep them in the closet. Oh, excellent. To make room for the circus elephants. Thank you for talking to me, and thanks for all you do for the community. Thank you, David. Thank you all. Thank you, everybody. I'm Nick Duell, and I'm a chemistry teacher at Chickabee Comprehensive High School. Nick Duell, is that a stage name? Yes. <laughs> That's yes. a pretty cool name. <laughs> My real name is Walter White. Since the TV show Breaking Bad, do people assume chemistry teachers are all cooking crystal meth? Yes. That's <laughs> yes, funny. <they> do. <laughs> are, are, are you cooking crystal meth? There's no comment. Okay. Why do you think you won this award? I don't know. I, I love my job and I uh, give 100% every day. Um, you didn't give extra credit for students that voted for you? Not that you know of. Is it safe to breathe in helium to make you talk funny? Yes, but you have to make sure you get oxygen. What do you enjoy most about teaching? I love the students. I love their parents. We actually have great parents here in Chicago. What do you do with a dead chemist? Bury him. Did you hear about the new helium book? Can't put it down. Is that enough chemistry jokes? Uh, yes. I'd tell you more, but all the good ones are gone.
I'm Dr. Bill Bazin, and I'm the proud owner of Bazin Chiropractic Office. Do people ever call you Brazen Bazin? All the time. Can you spell chiropractor? Uh, no, I can just do it. Do a lot of people not know quite what chiropractors do? Yeah, actually, that's one of our challenges, letting people know exactly what chiropractic is and how it can help improve their lives. What do chiropractors do? I have no idea. You know when the last time was I went to a chiropractor? When? A week back. How important is stretching? Stretching is very important. Is that the truth or are you stretching it? Why do you think you keep winning this award? We have an amazing amount of patients in this area that love and support us and I really appreciate them. Well, I have a lot of patients too, but I don't win awards. On your days off, do you ever fix the spines on books? Did you hear the joke about HIPAA? HIPAA? I can't tell you. <laughs> How long have you had this practice? 30 years. Wow, and you still call it a practice? Oh yeah, I'm getting better every day. Uh, thank you so much for considering us as the best chiropractor in the valley. Come see Bayes and Chiropractic Office. I'm Jim Kelly. I'm the CEO of the Polish National Credit Union. Yours is about the least Polish name I can think of. Have you thought of changing it to maybe Kelowitz? Well, you don't have to be Polish to be a member, and I guess you don't have to be Polish to be the CEO either. You know, I almost canceled this interview. I heard you had low interest. Hey, you know why bank employees don't ask questions? Because they're tellers. That's the most important job at Polish National Credit Union. I mean, think about this for a second. This was a useful segue for you. If apparently. I call in sick over the next three days, nobody will notice. But if our tellers call out, people will definitely notice. You loan people money to start businesses. Yes, in fact, I'm um, proud to tell you that we just launched commercial lending in April. What if they want to start a credit union? Well, maybe not for that. <laughs> Are you ever afraid of being invaded by the German credit union? I'm not familiar with them. The word Polish is spelled the same as polished. Does anyone come here for a shoe shine? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Readers raves. I mean, very highly regarded award, but we owe it all to our great employees. I am Nancy Shendel Follick, president of Bay State Medical Center. Let me just start by saying it is a pleasure to be here without having to strip to my shorts. Why do you suppose Bay State won this award? We take great care of our patients and families, and certainly lots of folks in the community have used us and I think have been pleased with the services that they've received. I've seen hospital administrators portrayed on TV dramas. Are you one of the good ones or the evil ones? Absolutely one of the good ones. Why did you change the name of your ER to ED? Was that to sell more Viagra? Wow. Have you ever noticed that in a hospital, the word discharge can mean two completely different things? I really hadn't thought about it until you brought it up. If you're running late for work, do you just call an ambulance? Uh, no, I drive faster. I read that 11 times a day, someone gives birth here. Who is this woman? What would you like to say to the people who voted for Bay State? We're privileged to serve them, and we want Bay State Health. We want our patients to be for life. I'm Chris McMaster from Phillips Insurance Agency. Do you ever get confused at McDonald's and order your own name? Now, why does Phillips keep winning this award? Our staff, we have a great staff um, that's really contributed to customer service. Do you sell personal insurance? Yes. Can you tell me about it or is it too personal? <laughs> <laughs> do you offer umbrella policies? We do. Do a lot of people insure their umbrellas? Are most drivers underinsured? Yes, they are. So I as a driver perhaps should have more insurance than I do. 
Absolutely. Enough of your high pressure tactics. Why does insurance have a reputation for being boring? Do you like to read your policies? No. No, no one does. Do you go to the registry for customers? Uh, daily. How about the dry cleaners? Special clients. Have you ever insured anything unusual? I once got a request to insure an alpaca farm. It was definitely something different and uh, we were able to find coverage. <laughs> That's great. You got to take coverage because they spit a lot. <laughs> Thank you very much. We appreciate your vote, and we continue to uh, offer you guys the service you deserve. Tell me who you are and what you do. I'm Paula Cox. I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> what makes Doggy Doos the best local pet groomer? We're the best because we give great haircuts and we treat the dogs like they're our own. What do you tell someone who says, heck, I can groom my own dog with a pair of scissors and some rope? Oh, say try it and come back and see us. Do you ever have to remove ticks? Oh, yes. How about from the dogs? <laughs> Do you ever do neutering? No, come close, but never completed it. How long have you been doing this? Uh, 17 years, actually. Oh, well, must be some dog. <laughs> Bring your dog to Doggy Doos. You won't be disappointed. You'll love the haircut, and you'll just love the way the dog smells and looks on the way out. Hi, my name is Lisa Basile and I'm an optometrist at the Center of East Long Meadow. Why do you think you keep winning this award? I hope it's because our patients like us and we do a good job. Did you ever write dirty words in the bottom of the eye chart? No. Your office is right next to Maureen's Sweet Shop. Do you ever trade eye exams for chocolates? No, but I've threatened to have a little trap door between my unit and her so that I can have snacks whenever I want. How often should somebody clean their glasses? Probably more often than I do. I clean my glasses every time I drink out of them. Now, what's the difference between an optometrist and an ophthalmologist? About a hundred grand a year? Probably more than that. <laughs> oh, really? But ophthalmologists are eye surgeons, and optometrists are eye doctors. Do you still call them reading glasses if the patient is illiterate? Do you think it's wise making people drive through the East Longmeadow Rotary to come get their eyes checked? We train our patients on techniques to get around the rotary and to skirt it if need be. Were you comfortable with this interview? Yes. You didn't make a spectacle of yourself? Probably. <laughs> Analia St. George and I am the owner of the Bridal Corner. Why do you name it the Bridal Corner? Isn't it the groom that usually gets cornered? Uh, originally when we opened the store it was actually in a different area of Chicopee and it wasn't a corner. How long does it take to have a bridal gown made? Um, it takes about six months. Wow, that's longer than some marriages. Do you make more money with Scottish weddings because everybody wears a dress? Are there brides who just have the same gown altered every time they get married? We've actually had a bride that's been here at least five times, and she says she's going to keep doing it until she gets it right. The TV show Say Yes to the Dress, is that like your life but on TV? Pretty much, uh, but a lot of it too is made for television. Do people really spend $10,000 on a wedding dress? Not in Chicopee, they don't. <laughs> How many floors are there here? There's three floors. How many ceilings? There's three ceilings. Excellent architecture. What would you tell someone who's getting married other than don't elope? It's their wedding day. They should go with what they love.
I am Kate Gord, and I am the owner of Cooper's Gifts Apparel Home in Agawam. So tell me about the gift boutique. Well, let me see. My parents started it in 1973. I am second generation. Tell me about your apparel. We have all kinds of wonderful apparel. No, I meant your apparel. Oh, my apparel. Do you sell figurines? Yes, we do. Are they edible? No, they are not. Oh, okay. <laughs> I only ask because I'm hungry. I mean, we have gifts for just about everybody. We've got gifts for housewarming, gifts for a beach house, gifts for men, gifts for wedding. Do you have any gifts for my mother's birthday? Absolutely. What does your mom like? Nothing. We have the baby department. You sell babies. We don't sell babies. Okay, we good. We sell gifts for babies. Because that would end this interview. You know why I don't give gifts to babies? Why is that? They never send thank you cards. Why do you suppose you won this award? We give people a shoppertainment experience. Let's hear it for the Cooper Crew. Woohoo! We can stick in applause later. You gotta come to Cooper's. My name is Robert Thompson. I'm the general sales manager with Harley Davidson of Southampton. Robert, how long have you been riding? Uh, probably about 15 years. Uh, that was a trick question. You're not riding. Now, you own a Harley yourself? I do own a Harley myself. I got an 07 Road King. Have you named it? I don't name my motorcycles, no. How about Doug? No. Doug's a good name. I don't think Doug's going to work. All right. How long have you had Doug? I've had Doug since uh, 2013. When someone is a passenger, do they have to hug you? No. No, we have backrest for that. Oh, that's good, because that, that must be awkward, I would think. Uh, sometimes. Have you ever told the customer they're just not Harley material, like, sorry, pal, go get a Suzuki? We try to avoid that comment here. Is there an age when people probably shouldn't learn to ride a motorcycle? No, not really. So six months is okay? Well, you probably want to be a little bit older than that. Your feet got to touch the ground. Have you ever uh, had an accident? Not on my Harley, no. Oh. Well, you're young. Yeah. Any advice to someone who's thinking of buying a motorcycle? Come see me. Yeah? It's the best advice I have. Don Demore. I am the uh, chairman of the board of Big Y Foods, Inc. Now, this interview should take about 10 minutes, but in honor of your deli department, is a little bit over okay? It's okay as long as I'm still standing. No, I promise, no embarrassing questions. Do you have sticky buns? I just showered this morning, so I do not have sticky buns. Can you tell me where we're standing now? Actually, we're standing at Table and Wine in West Springfield, our signature store. I only asked you that to see if you've been drinking. Of course I've been drinking. You have to drink. Do you do a lot of wine tastings? We certainly do. Every weekend, uh, Friday nights and Saturdays right here, uh, we do wine tastings. How about for your customers, though? Do you have restrictions as to what your bakeries can write on a cake? Uh, for instance, they can't write on the cake what I'm thinking about you right now. As a member of the Demore family, are you allowed to walk down the aisles and just take things? Oh, of course I am, if, as long as I'm willing to get arrested. There's so many microbreweries today. How do you decide which beers to stock? Can't decide, so we have 2,500 of them. Why are you slurring? <laughs> because I had, <laughs> that's what I had for breakfast. So they make their choices and they vote them in. Publican, where they publish all the 